Welcome to this video tutorial on securing your TIA portal project files. In this video, we will walk you through the process of setting up a username and password for your TIA portal project, configuring user roles and access for your project, providing an example to help you to test the configuration. By implementing these security measures, you can protect your project from unauthorized access and ensure that your data, information and programs are safe and secure. So let's get started. To access the security settings in the Siemens S7-1200 PLC, you need to go to the project area. Once you are in the project area, you can find the security settings tab. Clicking on this tab will reveal two sub tabs, the settings tab and the users and roles tab. In some versions of the TIA portal software, only the settings tab may be visible initially. However, this is nothing to worry about. Once you finish configuring the settings, the users and roles tab will automatically appear. Next, let's take a look at the Project Protection and Password Policies tab. Within this tab, you will find the Password Policies sections where you can create the password policies that you need. Here, you can configure the password complexity for the project. In the Password Policies sections of the Project Protection and Password Policies tab, you can create password policies that meet your security requirements. One way of doing this is by setting the minimum password length and minimum number of numeric characters and the number of special characters required. To further enhance the strength of your password policies, you can enable options such as requiring at least one uppercase letter and one lowercase letter. These options help you ensure that passwords are complex and difficult to guess or crack. By configuring these passwords policies, you can help to ensure that passwords used by users of the PLC are strong and meet your security standards. Moving on to the password for project users, this is very important. Here, you can implement other security measures. For example, you can set the number of recently used passwords that are blocked for reuse, which can help to prevent users from reusing old passwords that may have been compromised. Furthermore, if a user enters an incorrect password more than the number of times that you have previously configured, the TIA Porter project file will be permanently blocked. This provides an additional layer of security as it helps to prevent unauthorized access to the PLC and ensures that the program is secure. If you enable the Enable Password Aging option in the Password Policies section, you can configure a period of time after which the TIA Porter project file will be unblocked. This means that after a certain period of time, a user can input the correct password again to open the project. Enabling password aging can be useful in situations where a user forgets their password or enters an incorrect password too many times, which cause the project file to be blocked. With password aging, the project file can be unblocked after a certain amount of time has passed, which can help to prevent unnecessary disruption and allow users to regain access to the PLC more easily. Another way to enhance your password policies is by configuring the password validity in days and pre-warning time also in days. By setting the password validity period, you can ensure that users change their passwords regularly to maintain security. Once the validity period has expired, users will be prompted to create a new password when they next log in. In addition, you can set a pre-warning time, which will alert users before their password expires. This can be useful in preventing users from being locked out of the system due to expired passwords. To protect your TIA portal project, 
you can click on the protect this project button. Once clicked, you will be prompted to set a username and password and then confirm the password to ensure that it was entered correctly. After inputting all the required information, you can click the OK button to continue. Once you have specified a project administrator, your tier portal project will be protected by the specified username and password. It is important to note that once you have set up project protection, you will need to log in to the project with the specified credentials. Additionally, the project protection cannot be removed once it has been set up and this setting cannot be undone. That's it. The Tia Portal project is now protected by the specified username and password. With project protection setup, you can help to ensure that your program and data are secure against potential security threats. Next, we will be configuring user and role access for your Tia Portal project. To do this, double click the Users and Roles tab to access User and Role settings. When you access the User and Role settings, you will see two tabs, the User tab and the Assigned Roles tab. To configure User access, you can select the User tab where you can define new user accounts or modify existing ones. To create a new user account, you can select the Add User button and then choose Add New Local User. This will allow you to create a new user account with a custom username and password. Once you have created the new user account, you can configure the account's settings such as length of the access sessions and any restriction on the user's level of access. After you have created a new user account, you can then assign roles to the account to specify the user's level of access to the project. To do so, you can select the Assigned Roles tab in the User and Role Settings area. Here you can choose from a list of predefined roles or create your own custom roles to assign to the user account. I will assign the role of Net Diagnos. Let's see the features of this option. Click on Assigned Rights tab, then click Engineering Rights. Here you can see that this option can open the Project Tier portal and is read-only. About security, you can view the security device configuration as well. Now let's click Save button to save this configuration. After that, let's test the configuration. Open the project in the tier portal by clicking on the open project button and then selecting the project you want to test from the list. After selecting the project, a login prompt will appear on the screen asking you to enter the correct username and password to access the tier portal project. This is because the project is protected with a username and password as configured earlier and you must provide valid credentials to gain access. Let's intentionally input an incorrect password and see what happens. As you can see, the project cannot be unlocked with the current credentials. We can click the OK button to retry. Now let's input the correct username and password to open the project. After successfully logging into the project, it appears that the user account has limited access permissions, only allowing for read access to the project data. As a result, all tabs are currently disabled, which shows the proper configuration of the user and the role. In conclusion, Tia Portal offers a powerful security features to protect your project from external threats and keep your information, data, and program safe. By implementing the security settings we covered, you can effectively manage user access and control who has permission to view and modify your project files. These measures can provide peace of mind knowing that your project is secure and protected from unauthorized access. Now thank you for watching and don't forget to stay tuned for more useful information and content.